What's up my Koop Trippets Koops and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I have to apologize for the long delay in between episodes. I'm so sorry I've been busy working trying to look for new jobs and busy applying myself. So that's why I've been gone for so long and I apologize. Hopefully we'll be back on track and finishing up this series pretty soon. As we're getting close to the end of this game. Let's see if we can find this guy. I need a duplex bow. Hey, you've got one. I actually came over to the Yiga clan hideout to grab a duplex bow that was, I was gonna go inside the hideout, but this guy just came out and met me. So thanks for that, man, because I need to go back over to the weapon connoisseur in Hateno Village and hand him a duplex bow. Well, I just did that, or I got one, so thanks. <laughs> that was really nice of that guy. Saved me the trouble of walking inside. Let's head back over to Hateno Village. So we're gonna be doing today more side quests. You guessed it. That's the name of the game. We actually have a couple of side quests, but they're all kind of grouped together. The first area is Hateno Village. And then we have Zora's Domain and we have the Gerudo uh, City where we have to complete people side quests. Now, funny enough, it says complete their side quests. I actually don't have any right now for Gerudo. So clearly I gotta talk to people again. That could be a bit of a problem. So, like I said, right now we'll do Hatena. We'll probably move on to Zora and see what they've got for us. Keep us busy as we're trying to do side quests. Looking for some shrines while we're at it. I don't know if we have all of them in the outside world, but we've got a lot, you know, so we're just trying to finish up our shrine quest. And like I said, the side quest, I'm just doing the ones I have. So I need to go show this kid wherever he went that I got a duplex bow for him. Let me go ahead and equip it so we're ready to roll. There we go. Now he lives at this house, but he's constantly running around. What time is it? 6.15 a.m.? Oh, he's probably sleeping. Now he is. Dang it. What should I do in the meantime? Oh, I could go up. You know, I could technically go up and do this. Let's go ahead and do this one. There's also another uh, side quest. We're supposed to do the sun shrooms. Funny enough, this is one of the, not the first side quest, but it's one of the first early side quests you get in the game. And... I uh, haven't done it. You're supposed to show this guy sunshrooms, I believe. I don't know if you take photos or hand three of them to him or, or what it is exactly, but I just never did it. He gives you the quest, and I'm like, not nah, not doing that one. That sounds uh, not fun. I don't want to go find sunshrooms in the forest, so just ignored it. But maybe now, you know, it'll be. We'll do it and see what we got. Let's check. Let's just check that out. Make sure. So, Sunshroom Sensing, now that you've registered, Sunshroom. Go to Retsum Forest to find three wild Sunshrooms there. When you have all three, turn them over. See, I don't know if you have to get them from Retsum Forest or if I can just hand him any old Sunshroom. Well, I have any old Sunshrooms in my backpack, so. Uh, good morning. I see you've brought the Sunshrooms. Okay, now please hand over those three. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Okay, Hardy Truffles. Those are better than the Sunshrooms. So. Was the Chica Sensor plus to your liking? Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Hmm. Oh, yes, I just remembered there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Stop by when you have time to talk. I'm right here, man. I got time to talk. Let's do it. Ah, Link, I've got some news that you should be that should be music to your ears. I found a way to help you search for new objects using the Chica Sensor Plus. Hmm. Uh, please feel free to show your excitement. See, even the game knows that I don't care. Anyway, as I was conducting my research, I found that there were still some pictures of the past left in the Guidance Stone. If you add those pictures to your Hyrule Compendium, you can search for their subjects with a Sheikah Sensor Plus. Is it hard? Oh. Hard? No, no, not at all. The Sheikah Sensor has been powered up to the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Oh. You can now access a picture registered in the Hi your Hyrule Compendium, allowing you to search for the subject of the picture. I trust you now see the benefit of adding pictures to your Hyrule Compendium. Yeah, maybe I should have talked to this guy a while ago, huh? It makes it much easier to search for items you need, reducing one more burden you face in your travels. Shall I explain it all once more? I'm good. Now then, go ahead and place your Sheikah Slate on the Guidance Stone. Wait, do I get like an upgrade or something? Ah, uh, I don't normally like to let people use my little Guidance Stone for free, but I kind of want to see what'll happen, so just this once I'll let it pass. Thanks, Pora. Well, you heard her. Could you go use the Sheikah Slate over there? Sure. Thank you. Let's go ahead and turn on the Guidance Stone. Genki! Snap, Genki! 
I mean, I am trying to save the world. Maybe you could let me use your, your Sheikah sensor, your guidance stone. Please. <laughs> Adding a picture. Yeah, maybe I should have done this earlier on. I just never talked to this guy again. Because he gave me that quest and I was like, ah, I don't want to do sunshroom sensing. That sounds a whole lot of not fun. So we didn't do it. Ooh, new photos. Well, okay, well. <laughs> All right. That wasn't that exciting. Now was it? Ta-da. Oh, wow, this is. Seems the Hyrule Compendium recovered a picture from the past. It appears the picture from the Guidance Stone was transferred to your Hyrule Compendium. You can't restore transferred pictures, so be careful of overriding it. You can fill in open slots by taking pictures of the camera using the Guidance Stone. And it won't be free from now on either. Keeping a lab like this running has expenses, you know. Yes, what she said. Wait, so I can get any f photo upgraded or added to this from here? Let's try one out. Ah, uh, good morning. Nothing more I can do for you. Oh, unless you want to chat? No, I wanted to... I was confused by what he said there. Can I add just photos to it? Ah, what do you need? I need a picture. These are the pictures you can currently add. Oh, what? You can... So you can just pay and get one of these photos added if you have enough money? So this is a money dump if you want 100% your photos. Let's try one. Sure, I can sell you some other pictures. How many would you like? Yeah, sure. Do all three. Want to buy all the other pictures? It'll be 300. Oh, I could have taken those photos. <laughs> well, obviously you can take any of these photos, but it just is a way of fill adding it in. Thank you for supporting our research. I'm glad they didn't make me go do the animation for that. They just auto update. So this is really cool. Also, okay, I know I like it, I like it. They make it, they make it expensive to add up, but it's a great way of filling in, especially if you go take the photos all yourself and then add in the ones you don't have. I think that's actually an awesome idea. You could p technically pay for it all too, but that's really not economically feasible. Yeah, I like that a lot. Didn't know that was a thing. I'm glad we found that out. I'm not looking 100% it. I don't care really that much to do it. Actually, I want to stop by these people and talk. Hi. Hmm, good morning. What's so good about it, I ask? Though, it could certainly be worse. She's been eating and sleeping better. They're yielding more milk, too. You single-handedly saved my flock. This was the side quest we did before where we went down to the beach and fought all the enemies. I didn't know if they sold me milk here or something. I need to talk to you? Who is this guy? To me? About what? Who are you? Me? Well, I'm just an old man. Nothing more to it than that. Any other business? Uh, what? I'm so questioning. Didn't this guy have a side quest about the... Sh about the uh, deer? Oh, there. You're up early. Will you hunt some deer for me? Yeah, he did. Uh, nah, nah, I don't need to. I want to go find the kid. I I'm kind of wasting a little bit of time till it's... You know, time for him to wake up. I don't know if he gets up this early, though. I think I thought he got up more like 10 a.m., not not 7. I don't know if there's any other side quests in Hateno. We did, we did uh, I think, most of them. Oh, let's go talk to that guy. Maybe something happened with his date. He was trying to get all of those crickets for the girl up there. Checking everyone out today, too. The check-in just never stops. You need something? Just checking out the beauties. Uh, I mean, tourists. Okay, how did the prima date go? He, he doesn't say. I want to find out how the date went. Did it go well? Let's go talk to Prima and see if she says anything. Oh. Sir, do you need something for me? This place is great. Oh, thank you for being so kind. If you'd like a room, we can work that out. Just get out of my face. Eh, well. They don't say anything about the date. I was kind of hoping we'd find out more. Wait, you're the kid? I, no, you're not the kid I need to talk to. Oh, you're an ugly little kid. What you want? Stand in my way. 
Alright, you're not the kid either. Hey, hey, hey! Have you seen this one? Ba ba ba, bull son! Foo wa! Foo wa! Check in! I love that bit. Of course, dude, that means you have good taste. I do, indeed. Whoa! Keep your space! A spy's on a top secret mission. Don't fall so you'll blow our cover. I wonder if I can actually follow them. If that matters? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it's anything there. Nothing to do there. Let's see if the little punk's up. Show him the duplex bow. Hopefully this is the last one he needs. Hey! Hmm? Oh? Isn't that the duplex bow? Nice, nice! Let me see, let me see! I don't want to do any more weapon errands for this kid. It's annoying. Ta-da, it's a duplex bow. Whoa, so awesome, so cool! Gramps will flip when he hears I saw this. Whoa, I saw one just like that in a book. Thanks for letting me see. Take this as a thank you. No worries. My Gramps let me give it to the person that teaches you how to fight. Close enough. All right, next. Gramps said he wanted to see, what was it again? Um. Oh, I remember now. All right. Have you heard of the wind cleaver? Gramps said you can't find those around here. If you get a hold of one, let me see it. Oh, the wind cleavers are only held by the Yiga clan badasses, I believe. Wait, do I have one in my inventory? I do not. Oh yeah, that one guy I fought had one but didn't drop it. The only way to get one of those is to have pretty much a guy just show up and fight him. I could try going back to the base. Do you think they'd pop up there? Like go back over to the Yiga clan? I guess it's worth a shot. Let's see if we can get one of the big bad bosses to show up. They're the ones that have the wind cleavers. Maybe they're still inside. I actually have never gone back. Oh, you know what? I never even checked if that uh, Gerudo lady escaped. She was trapped in that prison. <laughs> I stole the Thunderhelm back and then left her. So, you know, I really should have saved her now that I think about it. <laughs> uh oh, oops. Hope she's okay in there. Hmm, yeah, I hope so. So the random guys with the bows won't have the wind cleaver. It's only the big, the big ones. Big scary guys. We'll see if there's any more of the big scary guys inside. I wonder if that guy will show up again. I think they kind of have like set patterns a little bit where they show up in certain locations. But looks like we're safe right now. Over here, there's three people last time I entered. Maybe they'll show up again? Let's give me a little warm welcome. Oh, that was gonna be sick, too. Where'd he go? I messed that one up. Well, a good fight was had, and now they have a bunch of duplex bows. No wind cleavers, though. Also, I don't really need that. I don't really need that bow. I guess I could hold on to it, but it's not really that good, so. Which one was I using? Ah, uh, this one. Where is he? Where's the bat? Leave me alone, Keys. So the lady did break out. They left bananas. Did she leave anything in here? I guess someone uh, freed her. Wasn't me, so... <laughs> oh. Wait, is everyone gone? Can I just walk in the base and steal anything that was left over? Uh, maybe. Is that a wind cleaver or, or a bow? Oh, it's a sickle. Not what I want. Dang it! 
Unfortunately, no one's here. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Do these respawn? I grabbed them before, didn't I? Or, or did I not? If they respawn, I'll take <laughs> No one took the gems when they were fleeing this place? You'd think like one of the henchmen, you know, would say, eh, maybe I shouldn't leave the topaz just hanging out there. It's pretty valuable stuff. Are the bananas still back in there? There's at least one bear, pair of bananas. Yeah, all the bananas are back there. Okay, they. This stuff must have just respawned in here, huh? Well, I don't really need the bananas that much. But if you need bananas, you just come back in here and take them. I guess this is an easy way to get a bunch. Unfortunately, I don't see any wind cleavers. We'll have to just hope that we uh, run into a guy sometime. Wait, how do I open this door again? Can I? Yeah. Open. Open. Oh, I gotta go this way because of the uh, frog. That was pretty dumb of me. Uh, Alright, no Yika clan here with a wind cleaver. I'll have to just run into one. That's unfortunate, so we can't finish off, or we can't do that little side quest then for now. Hmm, next up on our list, let me take a look here of our adventure log. So, the Thunder Helm is in Gerudo Town. I actually don't know what other side quests need to be done, but I need to go to Gerudo Town just talk to everyone. Weapon Connoisseur, kind of we're working on that. This Hateno uh, is actually in Terrytown, and I need to go to the Zora Domain to find that old priest guy. Well, the Zora Domain is a good spot to go because I have to do the Giant of Raleigh's Pond in the Zora Stone Monuments. This one, I'm not sure how to do it. I th maybe I have to take a photo of it. Raleigh's Pond. Let's go do this one first, actually. That's... We can go head over there. Raleigh's Pond was... Yeah, right there. I remember that a little bit. Is there a good spot to fly to? Not really. I guess let's just go to the Domain. Talk to the priest. Go over to Raleigh's Pond. Battle of Hinox. And then finding this Ten Stone Monuments will be annoying. I'm not sure, like I said, if I just have to see them. I probably have to take a photo. So we'll have to kind of walk the path again and take a photo. Maybe a uh, Yiga Clan will pop up while we're doing that. And we can fight him and take his Wind Cleaver. That'd be great. So we're moving right along. Getting these side quests done. Just trying to accomplish all I can before we head over to the last area in the game. Oh, for me, the last area. I, I suppose you could do it in whatever order you want. That bright-eyed crab's like, I'm going to go hide under the water. He'll never catch me here. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Doesn't work like that. Now when Link's around. Uh, what do you have in the store? I actually haven't checked recently. No, I don't really want the rice. Oh, rice is actually pretty good to grab. But, that's fine. Hi. Anyway, any side quests? Oh, what? You have a, you have a quest? Ah, mm. uh, they say Ruda's calmed down and yet. Go on. Ah, oh, it is you, Link. I am sorry. I was talking to myself. What's wrong? Mm. The truth is my wife, May, left and hasn't come back yet. After the Divine Beast Va Ruta started rampaging, she went out to go fishing like everything was normal. And now Ruta has settled down, but she still hasn't returned. Uh. I'm afraid the worst has happened. If only I had stopped her from leaving. Oh, what do I do? Go search for her? Uh, Link, you saved Zora's domain, and now you're going to help me find my Mei as well? Uh. You are a true champion. I am sorry to put this burden on you, but please, please bring her home. A wife washed away? That sounds so sad. Hey, another side quest, though. I didn't think we'd get another one, actually. So I'm pleasantly surprised about that. I believe the priest was up here, if I remember correctly. I might just need to head, up, head around and talk to all the people again. I think it's this guy. Yeah. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Turning two souls is a true honor, one I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding and I shall be fulfilled. Get a load of this. I've been waiting to hear those words. 
Now, please tell me the specifics. As for the location, mm -hmm. Terry Town in Akala. Akala isn't too far from here. It would please me to hurry there right away. By yourself? <laughs> no need to worry about me. I have always had confidence in my fins and feet. It's been a long while since I have had work. I'm eager to put my skills to good use. You should come as well. I will start my preparations in Terrytown in the meantime. Well, there we talked to Capson the priest. I totally didn't put two and two that his name was Capson. I don't remember his name at all. But I'm glad that worked out. So now Terrytown has got the priest all ready for their wedding. This is the guy who wanted the side quest. I think it said excluding this one. Yeah, History of the Zora Part 7. This one, I believe, also is repeated somewhere. That Part 7. Because uh, when we walked around before, we found like nine of them or something. So... I remember one was back there. Like right there or something. No, nothing, nothing there. I want to head up this way anyways because I want to go over to Rallis Pond. I don't know where the wife washed away side quest was. Oh, there's some nice weapons. I'll take them. Yeah, sure. I don't think they're that good, but at least look pretty. I knew you were the same Link from 100 years ago. You did a fine job this time. May Lady Mifa's spirit live on within all of us. Hmm. I must prepare for the Champion Festival. I do not have time to talk. Where did I drop it? Hmm. He dropped something? Actually, hang on. Did he drop... Did he drop the weapon in the water? Is that the weapon I pulled out before? I'm looking with this right now because it's easier to see. But he apparently dropped something. Was the weapon over here in the water? It might have been, actually. This might have been where we first grabbed that weapon out of the water. Oh, interesting. That, that would have been your clue to find it then, I guess. That is actually pretty unique. Let's see. I'm going to go find that one, uh, one back here. This was the funny one because this is the one that talked about the guy who designed and etched all of the stone tablets. And it was going to say his name, but it ran out of space. Ah, okay, I thought it was pretty funny. Maybe, maybe it wasn't that funny. That's right there. I knew it was up here somewhere. I didn't know how far, though. So let's try and take a photo of this and see if this is one of the ten it needs me to find. Nope, not that. See, it doesn't say anything. It would say something if this was the right stuff. I'll take a photo. Anyways, just in case, but... This is the memoir of a gifted stone mason. What an honor it was to receive a personal request from King Dorfin to craft a historical stone monument. I did not realize how much content he'd give me, though. It certainly exceeded the line limits of a single monument. I suppose I could have just shortened the text, but it would have felt wrong to tamper with our great king's words. Thankfully, I was able to split it all between seven monuments. Okay, seven, not nine. I was wrong. Seven monuments to ensure that every word was preserved. I've always prided myself on my ability to think outside the box, and I am so very adaptable and humble as well. While I was at it, I thought, why not add two of my own? So I created one for King Dorfan and one from Prince Sidon. So seven, eight, nine, all right. True, it's outside the scope of my commission, but I believe their triumphs deserve as much. But why stop at that? Why indeed, my achievement surely deserves remembrance too. That is how a commission of one became ten. Of course, having increased the number of monuments, I had to find places for them all. That proved difficult. Still, it is worth it. As long as I remember to sign these monuments, my name will be remembered forever, as it should be. As long as I remember to sign these monuments. And he forgot to sign the monuments. Let's see that quest again, just so I remember it. Because this one is kind of hard. You agree to search the stone monuments. Not counting the monument in Zora's domain, there are ten to find in total. See, I, I don't know how to do this. Because this would be one of the ten. Not counting that monument. So this would be one of the ten. But I just read it. And... I take a photo of it and it doesn't count. So taking photos apparently is not the right way to do it. 
Maybe I should have talked to Giotto again. When we first climbed through, like I said, I think I found all of them except for one. Maybe if I had found the last one and read it, I would have completed the side quest already. But I can't be sure. So that's kind of annoying. It'll probably do us good anyway to start from the start and go all the way back through. They said there's a Hinox. Is this the Rawless Pond? What am I at? No, I'm at Veiled Falls. Anything in the water? Let's check that out. No. The quote-unquote problem with these monuments is they are all over in this area, you know? When you're walking through, I think you find most all of them on the initial path. But they can actually be almost anywhere. Speaking of that, there's one right there. But I can't remember which ones I got. So we'll probably start from the start and go again. And that way I can go one, two, three. And if I get one out of order, then I'll know to go back and check around for it. So there was a Hinox, I believe, up here that I need to kill. Hi, there he is. I might as well go ahead and mark that. As I push all the wrong buttons. Wait. Uh... Why can't I mark that? What what am I doing wrong here? Hang on, why? There we go. I was like, what? Why why am I being dumb? Why can't I not mark this? So we've got our attack up. Let's go ahead and put on a decent weapon. That one's not exactly decent. Uh, I'll save those for an actual fight. This is actually decently strong. So we'll go ahead and use the. No, we'll use this. No, I want a, I want a heavy weapon to swing around. I don't want these. These are too good to use. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. I just want to kill this guy quickly and get it over with. Well, that's not what I wanted to do at all. This is fine, though. We'll go ahead and... Oh, he's just a regular one. Didn't fight him that well, but... He's so weak, it didn't matter. <laughs> he had a bunch of royal weapons. What royal guards did he kill to take all those? Well, there's the giant quest done. That was pretty straightforward and easy. Have I been over here before to this pond? Is there anything in the water? I don't remember if I've been over here before. I want to see if there's a stone monument. It's because if I haven't been over here, you know, that would explain maybe my missing monument. <laughs> I need to go back and talk to the guy. Oh, we also, while I'm over here, should actually check and see what, where that missing wife quest takes me to. I don't see anything over here, so let's ignore that. Giant of Rolls Pond. All right, where could she be? No, that just says wife washed away. Did she? Maybe she fell down the river? So do I have to swim down the river to find her? Oh, that's annoying. <sighs> yeah, that probably is what I have to do too. Dang it, that's super annoying. So where should I start for, where do these, where do these start? I believe they started I think I mostly were over in this way, all the monuments, so let's actually just kind of go straight. I'm going to try and follow the path and look for these stone monuments while I'm over here. I think. That's the main bridge. I'm not seeing anything over here. What is all this? 
there always been thorns over here? I think there have been. Oh yeah, I'm back at this spot. All right. What's well, so, what's fine with inside though? Little treasure chest, nice. And a crappy spear. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, so maybe you start there and just swim down the river to find her. Let's get on the path and follow it up. This is where we came from originally at the very start of the game. Not start of the game. Well, pretty much start of our uh, series. When we first came to Zora's Domain a long time ago. So now we're back on the path. And it's time to go looking. So we're going to look for those ten stone monuments as we go down the river. What is this? Carry my thoughts to him. Hmm? Do you have a wish for the water fairy too? Oh, I suppose not. If you did, you'd have a letter to send. Wait, does that mean you're a servant of the water fairy? Uh, I'm a traveler. Oh, really? How lucky. Oh, wow, if that's the case, I have an important request for you. Once you're released, I'd like you to follow my love letter and get to know where whoever picks it up. Once you do that, please report back to me so I can find out what kind of person he is. Aren't you a little too young? Well, actually, you guys live for a long time, don't you? I know, I know. You're probably thinking, why don't you just go, just go yourself, lazy girl? I'm right, aren't I? Thing is, I promised my mother I wouldn't venture out too far. So I'm begging you, please, find the person who picks up this letter, okay? Fine. <laughs> Teehee, thank you. Excellent, okay, I'm going to throw the letter in now. Are you ready? These letter containers break easily, so please be careful. Why not get a more durable one? Apparently I need to go find this, or follow this. Well, this kind of fills my other quest too, to locate the mom. I am going to put on, this is going to be a swimming, a swimming one, so let's go put on our Zora stuff, our Zora outfit. Wait, if it breaks easily, do I need to bust this down? Oh, I do. I pro will it hit that wall and break? No, it didn't do that. Okay. So I need to follow down the river and help it out whenever possible. Assuming it doesn't get stuck. We can do that. Let's go see if there's any obstacles in the river. I'm also looking for a mom who washed away. Hopefully she hasn't gone this far. I hope that barrel can survive that. Decent sized waterfall. Uh, there it goes. Looks like it's okay. Oh, I did not mean to swim. I was trying to grab that fish. Yeah, it's still good. Hmm. It could get stuck in that little spot over there. Will that matter? Do I need to block that off? I doubt it. If it gets stuck, can I just pick it up and put it back in the water? Oh, but I need to kill you guys. Oh, it's just one. Never mind. I thought there was two. So if it goes down this water... I don't know if it'll make it here or if it'll get stuck. Hey, a gold one. Let's take this out. It's still coming down the water. You can see it right there. Oh, one thing we can do if we want to help it out, maybe, is... I'll make a bit of a blockade. Now maybe it'll stay on this side. 
So if it makes it past all this stuff... Comes on the water. I'm assuming the fish won't kill it. <laughs> Please don't kill my thing, fish. What am I doing? Get off the wall. I want to grab this stuff. Well, this is an interesting side quest. I didn't even know this existed. I think some of these side quests uh, maybe don't happen until after you defeat the, the Divine Beast. So do I need to head back to all the areas? I don't, want to, I don't know if he would snipe her love letter, but I don't want it even being a possibility. Oh, dang. Did our love letter make it down this far? Or did it get stuck? I don't see it floating. That's concerning. Ooh, where'd it go? Hope it didn't break. Could I just lie to the girl and tell her that, you know, her lover said whatever? Oh, it stayed here. Dang it, that's unfortunate. Well, now it's floating down the correct path. Perfect. So if the love letter coming down this way, I gotta go clean out the other pond. Unless maybe her lover is Lazalfos and I'm killing off her lovers. That'd be pretty rude of me, actually, now that I think about it. Hopefully that's not the case. Oh, did I need Hyrule Bass? Alright, there's a lot of guys here. Let's get uh, to the edge and start shooting them down. They're pretty weak, though, because this is early on, and I guess they just aren't very strong right now. Let's make sure her love letter makes it down here. It's a long side quest. Then I gotta go all the way back. I also haven't seen the, uh, you know, dead ladies in the water, which is good. I'm glad I haven't. Oh, nice. It fell down. Yeah, I don't really want to see that, but I'm also glad we haven't. Though, I, I do need to find her. Whoa, this guy had a lot of arrows. Thank you. Let's follow this trail back a little bit. See who, uh, see if there's anything else in the way. It looks pretty clear so far. Found a treasure chest. Was not expecting this. One bomb arrow. I can actually take your claim more. I would like that. Oh, and a Yuga clan. Hey, maybe it's one of the good guys. Or not the good guys, the, the big ones. Oh, nice. I need this wind cleaver. Perfect! It is one of the big guys. Hey! Nice! Got ourselves a wind cleaver! 40 power. Damn, what a weapon you've got there, buddy. Oh, and he dropped a ruby for me, too. Perfect! We got our side quest done now. That's awesome! Unexpected and awesome. I was going to bomb all those fish, but, you know, with my thing right there, might not be a good idea. Get you out of here. Have fun trying to get your body back. It's pulling down the river. Oh, I thought you were dead. <laughs> I'm really surprised you're still alive after that. 
So what else is down the river to stop it? Anything? It's not stuck on anything, is it? No, it's still floating. Okay, perfect. So that's floating down the river. Is there anything that could stop it so far in the way? Nothing. I need the rush rooms, but there's only two, and that looks like a pain to get. I could go back to those Gorons that are on that climbing mountain. That's probably the best way to get rush rooms if I need to grab some. For that one side quest where I need to get 55. I think I have 30-something right now, so a ways off on that. Oh, there's a that's a wall, yeah? Oh, I think I probably need to bomb that. What am I stuck on? We'll let that float down. Okay, that's not floating fast enough for me. I'm also gonna grab a bomb arrow. Get rid of the debris, is that all of it? It's not. There's the debris gone. I wonder if that would have blocked my thing. Speaking of that, I don't see <laughs> where that went. Kind of the in whole point point of this is to have that come down the river. Where'd it go? You get stuck? Dang it, we gotta go check. I don't know where it went. Man, this is a frustrating quest. Though, I like it because it's a little different. So, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to be too harsh on it. Oh, how is the water so strong from right over here? This doesn't even make sense. Got the jelly gang, jelly gang over here. Come to say hi. What's up, guys? Where did my thing get stuck? My letter. Don't tell me it broke somewhere, too. I'd be really sad. I'd also have no idea how that happened. Hopefully it's got stuck on a rock. We can pull it out. Uh, maybe this bend right here? I thought I saw it get past here. Um... Where did it go? What? Did it float past me when I was looking away? Or did I blow it up myself when I was throwing bombs? I definitely saw it right here. It floated down. Is that in the water? Did I just miss it? Up ahead of, ahead of us? Oh, that is it. How did I miss that? Maybe I just... Well, I'm glad. I'm glad it's making its way down. I don't know how I missed it when I ran by it. it must have just been not looking hard enough. Or maybe it looked like debris to me floating in the water. We keep killing enemies and stuff. And so every once in a while their tails or whatever, their Octorok parks go floating by. Oh crap, maybe these guys have arrows. I should, because there was a little Zulfus up here. I need to take them out. Oh yeah, there's one right there. I don't know if they would notice or care, but I wouldn't put it past them to be quite rude about all of this. Totally missed that shot. I was going for the headshot on him. So here comes my barrel. Once again, don't know who her lover is. Hopefully it's not any of these Lazalfos that I keep killing. Oh, there's another one. Oh crap, there's one in the water. I didn't see him. Did you kill my barrel? You did not. Good. Wait, they're kind of. It's kind of floating towards this island, huh? Don't touch that barrel. Oh, that was a <laughs> 
Unfortunate death for that guy. <laughs> Didn't even know it hit him. Okay, so there's our love letter. Going down the river. I think I've killed... <laughs> everyone who tried to get in the way of this love letter. <laughs> Honestly, a very sad story, you know. Someone's trying to write a love letter. I killed everyone along the way. I'm starting to think maybe one of these Lothalfos was her lo her lover, and he's now been killed. I don't even see someone. Who's supposed to be picking this up? Is there a little human child or a little... Uh, Zora dude hanging out around here? Which way is the letter going to uh, float in this way? Okay. It's going into this bay. Is there someone here to retrieve it? <laughs> or is it just to have to make up a story about a very handsome young man who picked it up? Oh, oh, we have someone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Aww. Sorry for the random question, but have you ever been to Zora's Domain? Yes, I have. Aww. I see. Is it far from here? It's it's a long ways. Mm. I see. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh. I am Sasan, the traveling merchant. I was on my way to Zora's Domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. You can see that? That's still a mile off, man. The writer seems to be a lovely Zora named Finley. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers heading to Zora's Domain. Uh. So then next it's her turn to write, so I'll just wait here a while. Oh, so you've already been talking with her? I thought this was like a first time love letter. Well then you know how far Zora's Domain is. The weird guy. Well, I guess I have to wait a second more. I thought this was the first ever letter he's received and he was talking about how he, he got them before. Okay, I understand the situation now. Is there a Korok up here? There is not. We are looking for a couple more Koroks to get our last upgrade slot for wep uh, weapons. What's in here, by the way? There be trolls. Oh, hi. Well, wanted to have a little bit of fun here. I was trying to pull up my arrow, my bomb arrows, just blow them both up. But because I was slightly in the rain, it didn't work for a little while until I got more inside. But good enough. Killed them off. The love letter has arrived. Do you see it, man? Oh, so you are following this letter? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she asked you to come down here and see what kind of person I am. Is that it? Yeah. Well, early I lied when I, when I wrote to her that I was a buff traveler. She said she wanted to meet me, but even though I'm dying to meet her, I, I can't do it. I've really blown it. If I had known this would happen, that I'd fall for her, I never would have lied. Good luck with that. Love reigns supreme. We'll be a nice guy. Mm. Love reigns supreme. Mm -hmm. I suppose it does. You know, hearing that does make me feel a bit better. Oh. Okay, it's time for me to take a chance to try to meet her. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if the torrential rain has stopped. She's waiting in Zora's domain. That's what her love, her letter says anyway. Mm. So I'll achieve two goals at the same time and train up my muscles on the way there. I'll get super beefy. Yeah, that's a ticket. I'll run all the way to the domain. Catch you later. We'll meet again Zora's domain. I'm sure of it. So do I meet the girl or do I meet them at Zora's domain now for that side quest? Uh... Look at all the parts just floating down the river. I'm just dead Lizalfos everywhere. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. So the girl's not that far. She's just up around the bend here. But that guy says he's going back to Zora's domain. I need to head back to Zora's domain anyways, too, to look for the wife. Here's what I'll do. I'll go to Zora's domain. We'll look for the 
the young girl and the guy right there. If we can find him, good. That side quest is done. If I can't, I'm going to go back down the river anyways to try and find that wife. And then I'll get to the girl and then start my pathway back to Azora's Domain because I need to walk the path anyways to try and find those stupid stone tablets. I didn't realize there's so many side quests. This also means that I kind of need to go back and run around every village after we've beaten the Divine Beast. Because I, I apparently haven't really done that. I haven't been back to Zora's Domain in a long, long time. So I'm not surprised there's new side quests, but I'm actually surprised how many. I'm also surprised how far away that girl was. She was not there before. So that is new. Uh, but I think you can get nice enough that where you get walk up to them, they all have red. Uh, there's a lot of red around here. Uh, what is it? Oh, hey, mister. I'm busy frogging. Frogging? Yep. Since mom hasn't come back from fishing yet. Ooh, your mom died, kid. I'm sorry to hear that. I've been catching... Oh, I know who your dad is, too, then. I've been catching hot-footed frogs and sell them to earn some money to, for our family. You were just pitying me, weren't you? You felt sorry for me, didn't you? Well, I don't need your pity. If you want to help, donate some hot-footed frogs. You can find them easily on rainy days. I really need to get some for me. Five frogs should be enough. Got it? Hi. Take them. Take them. I don't want to do this. Have some frogs. What? Really? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five. Wow! You really brought them. Here, take this as thanks. Oh, that sucks, man. This is called Armoranth. I picked it because it's unusual, but it doesn't really suit me, so it's all yours. What a terrible one. I think you had a side quest. la dee do A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Oh, you're the Hylian who helped our Prince Sidon. You're so handsome. You look still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course, but you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking with you for a bit. Hee <laughs> hee. Want to talk? I just love singing. I even remember the song from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? Okay, I'm going to sing it. Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet, a veiled falls sight. So I got to go to Veiled Falls, a scale of light. Is that like Farasha scale or something? Huh? Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. That's a tr oh, this is a shrine. I don't really get what the song's about, but I'm going to sing at the next Champion Festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Do you forget that it's his job? Nice. That's a, a shrine quest. We're missing a shrine. What are you doing? Spear practice. Hiya! But I can't even jump high enough to reach Lady Mestel's pedestal. Oh, the pedestal. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Was there a pedestal at Veiled Falls? I want to be able to jump high enough to pierce that pedestal. Do I just have to pierce it then? Oh, maybe I don't have to drop anything. I just have to pierce it? No, it said scale. Let's check the, uh, let's check the quest log and see what it says. Oh, Trello seems to know more. Let's talk to Trello then. We know that guy. He was, uh, he was up up there. He was talking about what he wanted to do for his job. Lettle's the guy that'll give me... Uh... Oh, here they are. Whoa, they're, they're, everything's just all over the place. This is crazy. Oh, it's you. Hey, Sasson. This is the guy who made sure my letter reaches reach you safely. Oh, it's you. As you can see, I somehow made it to Zora's domain. You didn't get any buffer, though. Thanks to you, I finally managed to work up the courage to finally meet Finley. At least, that's how I see it. <laughs> thank you so much for introducing me to my soulmate. Sasa and I discussed it, we said we just had to thank you the next time we saw you. So here, this is from both of us. Thank you for everything. 300 bucks? <laughs> Sasa, be sure to swim and climb and lift and stuff a lot. It'll help you build up those muscles you promised me. Huh? As you wish, my darling. I'll try my best. I know they're a lot older than they look, but this is really weird. This is really weird. Are, are you okay with this man? Residents of Rito Village have really fluffy feathers. Sasa, you're so dreamy. Please tell me more stories from your travel adventures. Yeah, um, I don't know if I can approve of that one. I, I know she's probably like 25 or whatever. They get old, they're much older. But, but damn. But damn indeed. Trello was up here. <laughs> There's a Veiled Falls Shrine. I'm excited about that. Another shrine. Didn't think we'd find one. Hmm. Okay, we talked to you about this before. I must devise a plan to find the ceremonial trident. 
Several trines used in the festival to honor Champion Mifa. Champion's festival's light scale trite. Well, it's a fake. I planted that ceremonial trine examined by Dento, but on the way there, I dropped it off the bridge. Doesn't really matter. It's a fake after all. I'll have to ask Dento to make a new one. If someone happens to pick it up, they can just keep it. So I'm supposed to have that, probably? I don't have it anymore, though, I think. I believe that's long gone and broken, so maybe I need to go back to Dento and ask him to make one for me? Because we picked it up before. I could go down and check it out, though, and see if it's still there. It was in the wa I remember picking this up before. It was in the water. Someone told me explore around and find it. We did find it in the water. But... I picked up and I broke that a long time ago, so I don't think that's there anymore. Maybe I'll have to have Dento make, make me one. Wait, you have a quest too? Uh, hey. Hmm, oh. that's Dento. Did you perhaps defeat that Hinox? Oh, you're the one that wanted the Hinox defeated. Oh. What? You really did? I, I, I just, I can't. Wow, thank you, really? Mm. I knew it. The champion who saved the domain is in a whole other league. Please take this. Consider a small token of my immense gratitude. Thank you. I guess you beat me to dealing with that Hinox. I really want to get stronger. Well, you're welcome. That's done. Hey, do you have any information for me on how to do this quest? Hmm, Link, eh? What's wrong? Are you unable to find all the stone monuments? I can perhaps tell you the location of a stone monument you have yet to investigate. Oh, good. I think I was missing one, so hopefully you can tell me. I want you to roll the dice of hearts for this one. The remaining one is here. Eastern Grove of Zo Do Zodobone Highlands. Zodobone Highlands. No thanks. Oh, one. Oh, so I do have to just read them all. Oh, there you go. Nice. Eastern Grove of Zodobin Highlands. So where's the Zodobin Highlands? Oh, here they are. Eastern Grove. Grove. Um. I guess someplace over here, huh? Let's just pin it as... Nope, not, not the right pin. We'll pin that as an area of interest to come check out. So we know where that is. Or we have an idea where that one is. Perfect. We can find that. We have to go find the wife. She's probably somewhere around here. But we have to jump off and go find her. I I am surprised at how many quests there are. We have to get the trident made and go to Veiled Falls to try to split the pedestal and get that. Or do I have to have a scale? So I'm not sure on that one. Oh no, the trident's called the light scale. Oh, it's not the dragon scale. The tri that's right, the trident's called the light scale. So I just need to talk to the guy to get a replacement made. Wait, do you have any quests for me? No, I don't think so. But man, I thought I thought we were practically done. Oh gosh, I went the wrong way. I thought we had like one side quest in this area. Apparently if you go talk to all the people, it's just all over. That's probably gonna happen the same way as the Gerudo region too, I imagine. Or it's going to be one of those things where there wasn't that many quests, but as soon as I defeat the Divine Beast, quests aplenty come by. So I need to make sure I talk to everyone again. So I have heard, Hylian Champion Link, now Lady Mifa's spirit can finally rest in peace. As a champion, you should be able to use both the Light Scale Trident and the Ceremonial Trident. Break either one. Please let me know so I can remake it for you. You are here. What do you need? Uh, the Ceremonial one. So I try. Somehow fell to disappear from this world. Shall we make it for you? In that case, I will need a Zora Spear and five pieces of flint. You don't have a Zora Spear. I'll make a new one for you when you bring me all necessary materials. How the hell do I find a Zora Spear? Damn, it's never easy with this game, is it? Actually, I have no idea how to find a Zora Spear. This could be more painful than I imagined. Okay, well, we've got other things we can do. I'll look for a Zora Spear while I'm at it. This is going to be a pain, I can tell you that, though. That's going to be the end of this episode. It's been a long one as we've explored around. When we come back next time, we'll try to finish off all the side quests and shrine quests in Zora's Domain. And then we'll move around and try and check out some more villages and get their side quests done. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and karate chop that like button. Until next time, GG.